Today, I'm going to be checking out Backrooms Level Fun. You heard that right. It actually seems like the level has expanded and gotten bigger than we last thought it was. And it also seems to be abandoned, like something left in a hurry. And we're also going to explore a very new hidden sub-level that you should never go to. But I think you're going to want to strap in for this video, because it's going to get pretty crazy. Lots of new developments. But without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Also, check out my second channel, Toogly, for reactions and Roblox stuff and ARGs. And my third channel, Spoogly, for, like, internet mystery content, if you're into that sort of thing. Enough self-promoting. Let's get into the video. So Backrooms Level Fun, or Level 338, which is its proper level number, is classified as a class party. Shocker, I know. And is mostly unsafe, unstable, and has a few entities, but not the entities that you might think. Level 338 looks like a nightclub or a party house of some sort. It kind of looks like those places that you'd have your birthday party as a kid at like a roller rink or something like that. Except it's way more liminal and dark and empty. And there's just bad vibes. The level has little to no lighting in some of the spots, which makes it really hard to see your surroundings and see what might be lurking in the shadows. And the lights throughout the entire level tend to flicker on and off in big bursts. So it's really hard to get consistent lighting everywhere you go. And since most of the level is dark, you're gonna need a flashlight to look around and explore, but you might not want to turn one on because of the entities that live here, which I'll get into fully in the entity section, but they're called DJs, and there might be victims of the SFV, or the Sanguine Festivus virus, here as well. I made a full video on that if you want to check it out, but just in general, you might want to be careful because no one knows what's lurking deeper in the shadows here, so don't be shining lights everywhere like a crazy person. The level itself is made up of different segmented rooms that are accessed by one long hallway that splits off into a bunch of different pathways and hallways. The entire place has this very empty and liminal and scary feeling, like something's looming over you when you're walking around. You feel like you're being watched. And if you remember Level Fun from two years ago when I covered it, you'd remember that it looks like a small, brightly lit room full of party tables and balloons and cakes and decorations and that kind of thing, which is weird because now it's darker and empty and it seems like it's abandoned. It also seems like the level has somehow expanded and gotten bigger because like I said, the original Level Fun that I covered two years ago was smaller and more compact. This one is opened up into more rooms and hallways and that kind of thing but it's still abandoned. We'll get into why it might be abandoned in a second, so hold your horses. But it almost seems like when this level was originally documented, the Wanderers didn't know that there was more to it than just those party rooms. They had no idea it didn't end there. Because there are multiple other rooms, like dining rooms and play place rooms and dancing rooms and all that kind of thing that have been explored since the level was first found. And now I'm going to talk about those specific rooms that have been found and what makes them different from the level fun that you remember. So there's the dining rooms, which are like really old dining rooms from the 1800s. They're filled with old plates and utensils and this room just has a really bad smell of rotting flesh all the way through it which might be from the rotting food laying around, or it might be from somebody that's infected with the SFV hiding around. I mean, I'm sure they smell bad, literally zombies. Then there's the party rooms, which is probably what you remember level fun be. These are big rooms that look like party rooms from skating rinks or laser tag places or bowling alleys. They typically are comprised of a few tables and old balloons and party hats and cakes and that kind of thing. They're st and they still are, just like the old level fun used to be. But now the rooms look like they're decaying and they're turning brown and black. And they have a really weird rotting smell to them, which is the same thing that's happening across the entire level. It's all decaying. But the level doesn't stop there because the next room that was discovered is the Play Palace, which looks like an old play place from her life that's been abandoned. It too is rotting and it's decaying, and it smells awful. There are old ball pits here and old slides that lead down to other parts of the level, and there's tubes that you can crawl to to get to other parts and that sort of thing. It just makes it really confusing to explore. This area almost smells as bad as the dining hall areas, and no one really knows why. It could be the rotting flesh of the victims of the SFV virus lurking around, or it could be something else. 
The rest of the level is just this dark and empty liminal hellscape with old play sets and party rooms and tables everywhere. There's decayed cakes, decayed food, decayed balloons and confetti and party hats and everything just seems to be old and forgotten compared to how it used to be vibrant and lively. I mean, it was never really vibrant because you would get eaten by an entity when you used to come here. But you get what I mean. The level also now has a connection to a mysterious sub-level that's been nicknamed the After Party, which I'll get into right now. So the After Party is classified as a class joyless zone, and it's actually pretty safe to be in now. And it looks to be like an abandoned series of party rooms with popped balloons and cakes everywhere. This is the place that mostly resembles how level fun used to look before it started to decay. There are tables here too and all sorts of things like that and then there's old drink cups and old plates and you get the idea. All the food here and drinks here seem to be able to regenerate themselves after they're eaten or used, which is pretty strange. But this is the point where even more strangeness with level fun starts to happen. So this sublevel, the after party, used to be the home of a colony of people. These people seemingly had to abandon and leave this sublevel for no reason, or so we thought. Now, it's mainly accepted that the colony of people that lived here got infected and were the first to get infected with the Sanguine Festivus virus. Again, I have a full video on it in the description. But this virus caused them all to leave the level in one last attempt to survive. They thought they could outrun it, they thought they could escape it, but they didn't. It didn't work. Because no one from the colony has been seen in human form again, which is pretty scary stuff to think about. The rest of this after party level is pretty small, like the old level fun used to be. It can be explored in under 30 minutes, and it just looks like empty old party rooms with party supplies and that kind of thing everywhere. A shell of its former self, if you will. However, the after party room is not decaying like the regular level fun is which is pretty interesting let me know your theories on that in the comments below so this sub level is accessed from level fun by finding a crack in the wall on that level jumping through it and then no clipping through it ironically this sub level is actually safe and safer than the regular level fun because all the entities left after they got infected with the sfv so you could theoretically stay here for a while if you wanted to. Now back to the main part of Level Fun. The only alive entity here are called DJs, which are tall male humanoids with a neutral demeanor. But like I said, there has been claims of infected people with the SFV lurking here. It's unknown if these are the same people from the after party level that have no clipped here, or if it's just DJs that got infected with the virus or what. Just watch out and be careful because you don't want to make an SFV zombie mad. To enter level fun, you can receive an invitation to the level, which will instantly noclip you here if you get one. And you can also come from other entrances too, but these aren't really known or documented that well. To exit, you can walk to the deepest point of the hallways here to be sent to level 3, or you can jump into a crack to be sent to the after party and then escape from there if you prefer that. Personally, I would go to the after party because it's like the safer version. So now that I've spewed all that information at you, let me summarize it all so it makes a little bit more sense. So level fun, or 338, seems to be abandoned and decaying. The party rooms and play places are grotesque and smell of rotted and wet flesh and just gross, damp rot. And the entire place is lonely and empty. The level is connected to a sub-level called the After Party, which is the most reminiscent of what level fun used to look like a couple years ago before more parts got discovered. The After Party has obviously been abandoned in a hurry because everything's just laying around and forgotten, but it is the safer part of level fun. So if you want to stay safe, come to the sub-level After Party. And on top of that, the sub-level used to have a colony of people on it that were infected with the SFV virus and they abandoned it in a last ditch effort to try to stay alive. Obviously it didn't work because now it's abandoned. That's it. Level fun was bigger and better and more expansive than we ever thought it was until it got taken over by the virus and everyone abandoned it. And now it just sits in ruins. But to be honest, it can be safely visited still because there's less entities here to worry about. I mean, two years ago, if you came here, you would have gotten turned into a human cake. So I think it's better now. <laughs> 
thank you for watching the video. I really hope you like the changes to this level. I actually really think this is one of the best changes and expanses of a level that I've, I found. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think below. Let me know your theories on it. And don't forget to check out Toogly and Spoogly, my second and third channels, if you want more of me. Make sure to tune into the community tab because I announce live streams there as well. Thank you all for your support and everything like that. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.